It's three o'clock, Monday morning. I'm in London. I went to see the marathon yesterday. It was amazing, such a great atmosphere. But I'm up this early because I've got a flight to catch. I have had enough of this weather in this country and so I last minute just booked a flight to Malaga. Let's go. Welcome to Malaga. I'm so excited for this next couple of days just to be in some heat. I am now going to get the train from Malaga Airport over to Tormelinos, which is where I'm staying for the next few days. It's a really simple, quick kind of eight minute ride directly from the airport to Tormelinos Centre for, I think it's 230 euros. I've made it to my hotel in Malaga. Oh, it's so warm outside. I am loving it. I arrived about half past 11 and you can't check in. So I just went straight to the beach with all my bags. Well, not all my bags, I've only got one, one little bag. Just spent a couple of hours down on the beach. The purpose of this trip is just, I'm sick of the weather at home in England. So I've just literally just last minute just booked a cheap flight. The flights was dirt cheap, like 15 pounds. And then this hotel, I think was like 40 pounds, including breakfast and lunch. So I'm just here for a couple of days. I'll give you a quick room tour. I'm not planning on staying inside long at all because like I say, the purpose of this trip is some sun. This is the room. It's really nice actually, the hotel. I think it's pretty new. Um, I'm assuming the balcony is out there. And then bathroom through here. I haven't even opened these curtains. Let's see. Do we have a view or do we not have a view? Ooh. expecting that to slide oh we do have a view not a sea view but that's okay oh I don't like it high up though it freaks me out I'm on the eighth floor I don't know when the balcony will get the sun I'm not quite sure what direction I'm facing in oh I don't like it I really don't like being up high let me just walk around and see if I can understand no I don't understand where the sea is I'm just gonna charge things up a little bit for like 20 minutes or so and then i think i might just go there's a pool that i assume is open and everything now like it's the end of april it's the season it should be open i'm gonna go and have a little look i'm off to see if i can find the pool and see if it's in the sun it might not be in the sun if not i might have to trek that back down to the beach apparently first floor I have just been sat by the pool for hours, just kind of dozing in and out of sleep. It's been very hot, just what I wanted though, I'm not complaining. I have just come up to the room, it's about half six, foot seven, something like that, I'm not quite sure. I've just come up to the room because I thought I need to get out of the sun for a little bit, but then I've come onto the balcony and my balcony's got the sun. I can't resist. I am topped up with sun cream though, because I don't think my body's seen any sun for about year it's been a long time since i feel like i've had any sun so i can't help myself but sit out here the sun's gonna set over the mountains there it's gonna be nice i'm just gonna relax up here for a little while this is what i've needed so bad some sunshine i just about made it to the um the sun going down behind the mountains I'm like sitting here almost falling asleep. I'm absolutely shattered. It's about half past eight. I'm so tired. I think that I am just gonna call it on today and go to bed. Like it's been a really busy couple of days going to London for the marathon and then at Silverstone the day before and I've been like I was up at three o'clock this morning. I'm so so tired. I think I'm just gonna get an early night. Oh oh my goodness, I definitely feel Sun kissed, <laughs> maybe sunburned. Don't know. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>
Well, I'm no longer in Tormelinos. I'm in Benal Medina. I've been walking for about an hour and a half this morning along the coast. It's been really nice. My feet are a little bit sore now. <laughs> walking that far in flip-flops is not so good. I'm just relaxing on the beach. It's absolutely glorious. It's just so lovely. Just sitting here, listening to the waves. I'm a drilling because <laughs> they're building a the hotel behind me. Back now. Hopefully you can hear me over the waves. They're pretty loud. That was so nice. I ended up spending about two hours just lying there on the beach. I'm gonna wander back this time. I walked along like the prom last time. Now I'm gonna wander back along the sea. It's actually quite refreshing and nice when it comes up over my feet. I'm gonna walk to the port of Bella Medina. It's so nice there. I really like it actually. And then get on the beach. This is the port in Ben Al Medina and I was so surprised when I first arrived here. Like the architecture is really fascinating. It's kind of a mix of Arabic, Indian, Spanish. It's it's really cool, like these white buildings with the accents of blue around. It's really stunning. It was built in the 70s, I believe. It's actually been awarded the best marina in the world twice which I can see why, to be honest. It's pretty insane, it's crazy. There's so many boats, hundreds and hundreds of boats where you can obviously do boat trips and things whilst you're here. There are tons of shops and restaurants. If you wanted to stop and get a bit of, a bit of Spanish tapas, you can do. It's just a really fun place to wander around. There's loads of things going on. There's loads of people walking around or eating or shopping. I can imagine at night, this place is absolutely heaving as well with people. And then just at the end of the port, there's this little tren turistico, which will take you around the Benal Medina area. I was gonna hop on, but I just missed it. There's also this, the big wheel, which I imagine, I didn't go on, but I imagine there's great views from up the top there. And then now we are back at Torremolinos and Torremolinos Beach. Day. the time has just flown by I feel like I've walked well I have walked a long long way today it's about I don't know what time it is like half six or something perfect time the sun has just come back on the balcony we're gonna relax and enjoy the sun here for a bit it was so nice having an exploring a real big walk down to Bedal Medina and wander around the port and stuff I had a really nice time Qualifying on Saturday afternoon. That, that, that was just a little. Sun's gone in, that's it for the day. I am gonna uh, just head down into town, uh, into like the centre of Tormelinos, and then go like down to the beach and along the like the promenade. I'm not gonna eat out or anything. Like I've said before, this trip was a cheap trip. I'm not eating out or doing anything like that. I'm always the furthest room away from the lift. In every single hotel I stay in. Wandered through Tomalinas town, just sat on the beach. One of my most favourite things in the whole wide world is is actually it looks like a full moon tonight. Is to sit on the beach at night. Like everyone has left the beach. If you look that way, there's no one. Look that way, there's no one. Everyone leaves and they go to the bars and they go, you know, to the bright lights of whatever's going on up there. Oh, and I just absolutely love just sitting here in the dark with the moonlight and the waves. Oh, it's amazing.
Good morning, it's another beautiful day here in Malaga, it's about 22 degrees, clear blue skies. My plan for this morning is to, I've been down for breakfast, I'm going to hang around the pool for a little bit. I think the pool should have sun, I hope the pool does have sun this early in the morning. We get food at this hotel from 8am till 1.30. My plan is I just have breakfast, I'm going to have lunch here today as well rather than going out and buying anything. <clears throat> I think I said at the beginning of this video that this trip is just about some sun and I'm not, I don't really want to be spending any money so I want to utilise the hotel's uh, facilities with the food. The pool is not open yet, I'm a little bit too early. So I'm just going to sit in the lobby for a little while <laughs> because it's a I love this hotel, it's so nice. I'll have to like show you around the lobby and what's here. It's really, like the decor and everything, it's really my style, I love it. So I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit. I could go for a walk or something, but after all that walk I did yesterday, I don't want to. <laughs> Slight change of plan. The pool doesn't open till 11, so I've gone for a little wander. I was hanging around, it was about quarter to 10, and I thought maybe it opens at 10. And then I went to the door at 10, and it was still closed. So I went and asked, it doesn't open till 11, so I'm just gonna have a little wander, maybe find somewhere to sit in the sun. Although I don't really fancy the walk back up. If you don't know, Tom Lee not, it's extremely hilly, unless you've got a hotel like right on the beach. It's a mountain of a climb up to your hotel. Perfect. That looks like a spot I can just sit in the sun for half an hour or so. We can go. Yes. Doors open. It's not like there's any sun though. enough of sitting by the pool I'm gonna head down to the beach I want to have a little swim in the sea today I've never been in the med end of April I think it's probably a bit chilly but I do want to have a little dip Going to the beach for sunrise. It is. What is it? Ten to seven? It's full of life. Wow. This was worth getting up for in the walk. Beautiful. What a wonderful way to start the day. I'm going home today as well. My flight isn't till, um, I think it's nine. I did just check this morning, but I can't remember. to pack. I had contemplated. I thought that I might go to Malaga today. I can't be bothered. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to hang around Tarmolinos. So I'm going to get packed up, 
pool opens soon, I'm going to go and just relax by the pool because I want to, again, take take advantage of the uh, food at the hotel and get kind of a, a lunch at maybe one o'clock-ish. This is going to be annoying that I'm going to have to carry around my trainers that are attached onto my bag with a handy carabiner. Always have a carabiner on your bag, by the way. Comes in very handy. But I'm going to have to carry around. Oh, I'm going back to England where I'm going to have to be wearing. I can't even imagine right now having to wear a jumper. I don't have to carry these around with me. I haven't actually got much to pack, to be fair. I'm just going to throw everything in and organise it at the airport. Oh. All packed up. Goodbye tent, hotel bedroom. You have been a welcome change to my building site house or my car. I'm at the train station. It's time to head over to the airport and head home. Thank <laughs> you. 